Okay, welcome back. And in my big soup pot, I have uh, one onion uh, chopped. You can skip this if your family doesn't like onion, but I like it. And so into the pot, I'm gonna add, this is where you would add your four cups of chicken stock. You can use canned. Whew. I'm making a double batch, but I'm gonna just tell you the recipe. I just added eight cups of the homemade chicken stock from boiling the rotisserie chickens. And that was free. And those boxes of chicken stock, unless you get them on BOGO, those boxes of chicken stock are over $3 now. And so that was free from both, just from boiling the rotisserie chicken. Okay? I didn't add salt, I didn't add pepper, anything. I just boiled the rotisserie chicken. But if not, you can add a, into your onion, you can add chicken stock. Okay, so now this is super fast. So now you're gonna add one can of Rotel. I'm adding two because that is, um, I'm doubling the recipe. I gotta wash all those out. Okay, and then one can of enchilada sauce, green enchilada sauce, one can. But it's, in my recipe, I say one to three cans because I like how it gives body to the recipe. And so I'm doubling, and you can also use this brand of green enchilada sauce. Whatever, I know there's many brands out there, okay? This is whatever brands you like. I'm not being brand specific. Nobody sponsors me yet. <laughs> okay, here, if you can find this, it's Mrs. Renfro's green salsa, and it is a jalapeno salsa. And I'm gonna give you an option if you don't like things that spicy. It is spicy, but not because of everything else that's in here. And so I'd already pre-opened these a little bit. And it says add one or two of these jars per your taste. I'm gonna add one for right now, okay? If you don't like things super spicy, you can get a roasted salsa verde instead. And it has um, both um, the uh, peppers and the um, green tomatillas. And that one is a roasted salsa verde, but it comes regular salsa verde too. There's a lot of cans and jars in this. You can, and if you really don't like um, you can get these uh, mild or medium. There's another brand. There's all kinds of brands of these. And this is Serrano uh, chilies in this one, but you can get them mild. So just look through your store. I'm gonna keep this one over here for now. And then what you want is at your market, I know Walmart has it. It's Chipotle salsa, okay? It actually doesn't have the whole um, Chipotles in it. It's just the liquid part. And this one was on clearance at the store, so I bought it. It has the whole chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And so what I did was I just used my immersion blender and I blended it up. And what I don't use today, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a Ziploc and put it in my freezer. And so this is to taste, okay? And that's an option. You do not have to put that in there. I got the original recipe came from a dear, dear longtime friend of mine, my boss's wife, sent it to me back in 2010 because her son had shared it with her for white chicken chili. And then it calls for um, three to four cubes of chicken bouillon. And this is my favorite brand. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add those in and it said three to four of them. So I'm gonna open this one up. And if you don't have that, you can use a quarter cup of um, chicken bouillon. That's the granules. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up. See how fast this soup is? If you would just open this instead of doing the long method, you can see it's starting to come together. It's got a nice body to the soup, I love it. And then you're gonna add two cans of cannellini beans. 
course I have four bean, cans of beans because I'm doubling the recipe. This freezes beautifully. I was at my daughter's house taking care of my granddaughter this spring and I made a batch of this and of course it makes a lot of soup and so we put it in freezer containers and put it in the freezer. Well when I went back in August to stay with my granddaughter for a few days I was just kind of feeling like allergy and like not really very hungry and I said oh man I said I wish I had some of that white chicken chili. And my daughter's like, oh, we still have one container left in the freezer. So she went out and got it for me. It tasted so good. I mean, many months later being in the freezer, it was wonderful. Now, you're gonna add two or three. It has to be, doesn't matter the brand, super sweet corn, okay? And this is optional if you don't like sweet corn, you know, oh well, but it sure makes the soup. If you don't use the, you can add more beans if you want to, if you don't want to use the corn. And so I'm going to go ahead and use all of these because I like the corn. This is such a open and dump soup. That's what's so good other than the onion. The onion is the longest part of this whole recipe. Erin, can you open that? I don't have the hand strength to open that up. I'd use scissors on some of them. Thank you. Now the best part's coming. As you can see, our pot is <laughs> full. <laughs> Get rid of these. And now the rotisserie chicken. Remember, I deboned the rotisserie chicken when I came home from the store immediately. You don't want to let those lay around. And I've got them in a Ziploc bag. And this is where you can, and I had pulled it apart, but this is where you can go through with your fingers and shred it even more. And it's okay to get a big chunk of chicken in your bowl of soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. That's that rotisserie chicken right there. And you'll want to use all of that in your soup. Look at this. It is so perfect. All this has to do is get hot. And I'm going to come back in a few minutes and I'm going to show you after this gets hot, I'm going to show you how we um, enjoy it. There's a piece of chicken skin there. And how we enjoy this soup is with a little dollop of sour cream and topping it with some uh, corn chips. You'll see that in just a few minutes. We'll be back. This is Jana, and here we are. We're back. We now are ready to serve our heated up. It finally, because I made a big double batch, so it took a little longer. I want to tell you, this is perfect for game day, for tailgating. You can make it ahead of time. You can put it in freezer bags, haul it in your cooler, put it in the pot at your tailgate, and thaw it out. I'm telling you, think of those chilly days in the fall. Oh, this is so good. I cannot begin to tell you. All right. All it is is dump and heat. That is all it is. Pull apart that rotisserie chicken, but you can also boil your own chicken, your own chicken thighs, whatever. I was just trying to make it easy. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my bowl here and I'm gonna show you how we serve it at our house, but you make it your way. And if there's anything in here your family doesn't care for, look at all that chicken, then you eliminate what you don't think that they would like. But look at corn. If you have your own freezer corn, from this summer, what you put up in the freezer, use that. Now, this is how we serve it at our house. A dollop of sour cream in the middle. And then all around the edges are some crushed tortilla chips. Kind of like using crackers and chili, only we use tortilla chips. All around the edges, as many as you want or none. That is one of my favorite. That's how they used to um, serve it at like the Cheesecake Factory when I used to get it when we'd go visit. How pretty is that? And I wanted to ask you if you could do me a favor. Could you hit the like button, the little thumbs up? And then you can do me a second favor and hit the subscribe button. That really helps reach more people. And if you could hit the little bell thing so that you get notifications when more of my tailgating recipes, homemade recipes, easy recipes like this one. And I just thank you for stopping by Jana's Kitchen.